Happy Monday, Calvary. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, today I want to talk to you about doubt. I know that sounds strange for an encouraging uh, devotion, but uh, I've been in ministry for over 40 years, and through that time it breaks my heart when I hear people who I know love Jesus express doubt about their eternal security. They wonder, am I really going to make it to heaven? And sometimes it's because of their sin in their life, either a recurring sin that they can't seem to break, or maybe they do something reprehensible and they just think, how could God forgive me? How he could love me? Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to make it to heaven. So if that's you, if you've expressed any of those doubts or had any of those fears in your life, uh, I want to share something with you that I think can be life-changing and joy-giving. Now, before I, I get to that verse uh, in first, or 2 Corinthians chapter 1, uh, let me just share this caveat. I don't want to give anyone false confidence that they have salvation when they don't. Uh, I grew up in the kind of culture and churches where they, they kind of sold salvation this way. If you just pray this prayer, then God's going to save you and you're going to go to heaven. And, and they would lead people in a prayer and those people would say amen and they get baptized and they would never go to church again. And you would talk to them about their relationship with Jesus and they say, I'm fine, I, I accepted Christ when I was eight. And I go, well, have you done anything with that since? And they said, no. And I'm concerned for people like that. Uh, that's really not a biblical definition of what it means to follow Jesus. Now, the Apostle Paul said, if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But look, when you invite Jesus to be your Lord, when you acknowledge the reality of the resurrection of Jesus, you can't stay the same. The Apostle Paul also said this, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things pass away, all things become new. He's talking about life change, which is why here at Calvary, we define our mission as leading people to a yeah, I think you know this, a life-changing relationship with Jesus. See, we believe that when you truly surrender your life to Jesus, there is a change that takes place inside of us, and that gets evidenced on the outside eventually. So, if you know that you've confessed Jesus as your Lord, you know that you've experienced this life-changing relationship with Jesus, I want you to hear this, and I want you to have confidence. The Apostle Paul writes, and it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. In other words, the moment you confess Jesus as Lord, the moment you surrendered your life to him, God the Holy Spirit entered you and he made you new and he wrote Jesus' name on your soul and he claimed you as belonging to God and guarantees your salvation. The Holy Spirit guarantees your salvation. You don't guarantee your salvation. You're not the one who has to maintain your salvation. It is the Holy Spirit of God who is in you that guarantees He's going to take you to heaven. Now, that gives me a lot of confidence, even though I am a scum-sucking pig sinner. And so if you're like me and you're still sinning and you're still struggling with this whole uh, following Jesus perfectly thing, then have courage and, and repent and ask for forgiveness again and commit again to following Jesus knowing that you belong to him and he's going to take you home one day. He's prepared a place for you and he's promised if I prepare a place for you, I will come and get you and take you to be with me that where I am, you will always be. See, I want to I kill your doubts if you're really a follower of Jesus wondering if you're going to make it. And and if you're just kind of playing a game of religion and trying to make a deal with God, I, I don't want you to have any confidence at all. I want you to surrender to Jesus and give your life to Him. So that in either case, you know that you can live with joy because heaven is your destiny. I really hope this encourages you and helps you today. And I'm praying that God will bless you.